Hey guys, what's going on? Welcome to part 19. In this video, we are going to run the jar that we have created in the previous video. And basically the purpose of this video is to run it, see if it works. If it works, great. I'll just show you how to run the jar in that case. Uh, if it does not work, I'll also show you how to debug it, how to make it work, and uh, we'll do that together. So I'm not sure what's going to happen. I haven't run the jar, uh, so let's find out. And the way we're going to do it is we're going to go to our build folder, to our libs. This is where we have um, put our jar. So we're going to copy the path for this jar, and then we're going to open our terminal. We're going to go into our terminal, and here we are going to say Java. We're going to call on Java, and then going to say minus jar, and going to paste what we copied, the path to our jar. And then before I run it, actually, let me pull up my um, screen share for my physical device. This is a physical device, so everything... Uh, that's that, that's going to be happening here is going to be happening on my physical device. Uh, so let me just run this now. Now that you can see my screen, let's go ahead and see what's going to happen. <clears throat> Appium should create a driver or a service for us, and then it should connect the driver to that service, and then it should run uh, tests, speed tests. So let's see if that's what's going to happen. So it looks like it created yeah it did uh, but it killed the driver instantly uh, let me see why that's happening it's probably actually because in the runner let's see let's go to source main let's look at our runner and yeah actually we have commented out uh, the test part of this <coughs> So we're going to remove the comments, we're going to enable our tests, and then we're going to go into our build.gradle, and we're going to run our build jar uh, task one more time, so we can recompile the jar with our tests enabled. Okay, well, let's go ahead and try to run this one more time. And actually, now that I'm thinking about it, I remember that our speed test had to be in some certain position for our test to run. I'm not sure if this is going to work right now. And it looks like there are some network communication issues, maybe because the network is not enabled. So let me uh, make sure that Wi-Fi is actually enabled. So yeah, it's actually failing right now because um, before we actually run our test, I have to do a speed test at least once um, because we did primitive testing and I did not consider all the conditions. I just wanted to kind of give a fast overview. So right now, let me just run the test once.
And also running from uh, command line, we can see one more issue is we can't really see uh, which tests failed, which tests passed, right? So we can see that run one failed. Um, well, actually, yeah, we, we can see test ID, but this is not a very meaningful report, right? This is just debugging information. So if you want to know more, we would need to implement some sort of reporting um, capabilities. So I think I'm also going to create a video on how to do that, uh, how to uh, create some reports, um, not so advanced, but more of a, like on the basic level, like a starter level. So there is something to look at and be able to say, aha, so this uh, test cycle finished, all right, uh, like 80% you know, uh, tests passed, so it's good, or something like that. And you can see which test passed, uh, passed and why, uh, it, if they failed, why they failed. So that sort of report, I think we can do uh, pretty easily. So stay tuned for that video as well. All right, now with that said, let's go ahead and rerun this uh, this thing. We close it and run it again. Now, technically, I think it should pass. Um, all the tests should pass just fine. Uh, but we did verify that the jar is actually working. The tests are running. There is no pathing issues anywhere, uh, which is pretty common when you uh, compile a jar from uh, from idea um, well not just from idea when you compile a jar uh, you may have some pathing issues because your uh, your app is getting called from a different place um, but in our case everything works uh, just fine right now Pretty good test results. <laughs> yeah, you don't see that very often on a mobile device. All right, looks like uh, it finished, and actually, everything passed. We don't see any fails. So test passed. Test two passed. Test three passed. Test one passed. Test four passed. Yeah, everything is good. Everything ran smooth as hell. So. Very nice. Uh, thank you guys for watching. That's it for this video. Uh, make sure to like the video, subscribe, and share the videos if you can. Helps me a lot. Thank you guys. Take care.